Hello and welcome back. So we are still dealing with the Walker class here. Now don't mind me taking too long on this class, it's because I want you to, instead of just giving you the answers, I want you to see how I discovered how to manipulate that Walker class myself. So, so far what we have is, uh, is okay, but we're just lacking the drop-down lists because we know there is a drop-down item here but we can't see it. So, if we inspect the element here on the menu itself, and we go through these, uh, especially this list item that has a child here, which has a drop-down menu, we're going to see that it's the classes here that are not matching with bootstrap classes, okay? So, for starters, to start with, you see this list item, we told it to add nav item there, and it did. But this one that has a drop down has an extra class here called drop down. So we need to give it this class here. Now, this list item has a child in here, which is this one. So I think there's something in the walker that lets us know when an item has a child. So let me show you how I figured that out. So we have this walker here, but if we go back to functions where I load it right here, all I did is let me echo out the contents of the Walker class itself. So let's put a pre tag there just so it looks nicer. And then I'm just going to say print readable, print R like this. And I will put the Walker class in there. So I'll just say new. I don't remember the Walker class's name at all. So I'll just copy it from there like this. Put it back here, paste, and put those two like that. Good. So I'm just printing out the Walker class itself. So let's print out and see what happens. I'll close this. Okay, so it shows me the properties that it has in here. So the one I'm interested in right now is this one, has children, because that looks like what I'm looking for, whether something has children or not. So it would probably be a true or false situation that's what it sounds like. So let's use that has children. If you open the original Walker class uh, contents in the WordPress core, you will see that the has children is right at the top here. But uh, we're not going to show that. So all we need to do is go to where we are saying nav item, right? Let me refresh this because we know that these list items are called nav item, right? Uh, let me confirm that. Yes, they're called nav item, except this one where we it has a child, it should have a drop down class as well. So let's just ask it the question. So this is nav item, so we're in the right place. But how do we know if it has a child? We've seen how to do that. We will say if this we are using this because we are talking about this same class and say has children. Now the reason we are using this is because we saw that this has children is a property of this class itself. So this class, the entire class, that's why I'm using this because it's a property of the class. So what the walker does is that if it checks and if it's dealing with an item that has children, it, it's going to update this property at the top there and indicate that it has children. So it will be zero or one, which is true or false. So since it has updated that, we're just going to add one more class here called drop down. Okay, and save that. That's it. So if I now refresh the page, something has changed. Because this single nav item here, if you can see it, now has a class of drop down, but uh, these others do not. Like this one only, ha only has nav item, if you look carefully. This is nav item, but this one is nav item drop down. So in the right direction, right? So what else makes a drop down list? So on the A tag as well, there's something different. Instead of just nav link, there's drop down toggle as well. But this doesn't have children, so how do we figure this out? So I'm going to copy this, go to, um, let's come back here, let me see, what am I looking for? The nav link. So where is nav link on the A tag here? We must have added it somewhere right here. 
yes. So this is the class navlink. So we add all the classes here. Now I don't want to add to everything. So if you look closely at the top here in the function call, there's this thing called depth. So it tells me the depth we are at right now. So let's use, let's try and use that. So there's class navlink. So I'm just going to ask the question if depth is greater than zero. If it's not at the surface, let's change, uh, let's add one more here. So I'm just going to copy this and put it here. Since this is the entire attribute and this, these are the entire contents of the attributes, I just have to add it like this here. We're just following what the creators of this thing already did. So I'll refresh now. Let's see if we've uh, hit the ballpark here. So drop down, nav link. So it seems we haven't. We've added to these guys, which is not good. But now that we know that we've added the drop down toggle to the internal, what we've done here is this. Instead of adding it here, we've added to these. So now that we know that we're adding to these, it's a good chance to just put drop down item right there because we will need that as well, right? So let me put drop down item there. So this is my bad. I um, I put this on an A tag that, um, yeah, this on an A tag uh, that isn't in level uh, one, which is greater than zero. So these guys, these, eight, these A tags here are inside uh, they are more than, uh, the depth is more than one. That's what I'm trying to say. This one is on the top. These ones are inside. So this is why I guess it went to these. So we need to find another way to deal with this one because we've done this, we've done that. Yes, so we are almost there. We just need this drop down toggle right there and we should be home and dry. So. How do we figure that out? So what's unique about this? So it's in the same place where this has children and then we add that. If we can only continue that up to the A tag as well, I think that should work too. So since they are right next to each other. So here we use the if has children. So maybe let's use that as well down here. Okay, so this one is for the higher depth, but let's try if has children as well. If this has children, let's test it again. And we are adding that to, uh, where is this? To the A tag, right? Mm -hmm. So the class copy that. Wait, does it still have nav? Uh, it has nav link and then it still has that. Okay, so we need to put both of them. So put that there and then cut this one out and put it here. Okay, let's see how that fares. Refresh. Now you can see we have that arrow there, which is very good news. It means we succeeded putting a drop down, drop down there. Now let's click and see if something happens and nothing happens there. Also, we've noticed that uh, this href shouldn't work if we are, because when I click here, instead of opening that thing, the href is working itself. So to stop an href from running, we're supposed to give it a, um, this is the href right here. It has a, a URL of the link. So we have to change that. So I'm going to do this. We know it's right here. So this is the href. Uh, target. This is the href property. We'll give it a hash symbol to stop it from going anywhere. So let's see here. Let's refresh. And yes, it has a hash symbol now. So it doesn't go anywhere now. We can click on it to have a drop down, but the drop down isn't working still. And yet we are able, yeah, at least we're able to drop down from there. So what do we do now? We need to see what exactly is connecting the two here to make it work. So there's more content here on the row of the button. So 
these all these are attributes that we're supposed to add especially this one right there okay so let me copy these are for reading i think so let me just copy all these attributes here just to make sure i don't think i need the id i've added this one okay so which means i just need to add all of these guys here and we should be good so let me uh let me copy these no problem just add them here shall we so all these are attributes so i'm just going to copy all of this and this attribute is id so I'll copy this put that there id close it is equal to uh -huh. and then let's add another attribute here like so and let's put row on this one button uh -huh. and what is this one es toggle uh-huh this one right here this is the most important i think for the drop down and then let's put this one for reading for readability uh, when blind people are looking at your website the reading thingy will read to them properly so if i click now you see i get that as intended okay looks like it's been a long ride to get to this place but we are finally there right let me inspect the element just to be sure things are good okay great this is uh, looking good so if i now go to my um uh oh i'm actually not logged in that's why here i'm not logged into my wordpress thingy but if I were to change and add more items here, they would show. All these items would be here. Maybe we can do that real quick. Let me do the WordPress. Uh, actually, it's right here. WP admin. Let me go there. And password. Enter. Hopefully I haven't forgotten my password. It looks like I haven't. So we go to appearance and we go to menus. Well, let's just make sure. And we can move this sample menu in line with this other one. Like this. Boom. And then save that. And we can check the website from here. It hasn't saved, has it? This is the main menu, right? Save. Okay. And refresh. Aha, good. So I click now and they are right here. And I can click on this one. I can click on that one. Yes. So now we've lost our homepage. So let's just move everything back. Now, keep in mind that uh, Bootstrap is not equipped yet, as I know, maybe it is, I'm not sure, to handle three levels like this. So if you go three levels like this, you're going to have problems. And that's a Bootstrap thing, nothing to do with WordPress. So if you're going to have more levels like this, you see, this is a problem right there. So I would rather, I would advise you to just style your homepage on your uh, your navigation on your own that way you can put all the custom stuff that you need for now let me move everything back and save and then let's go back here and let's refresh now we have everything right here okay so our navigation is done using the walker uh, system all right so i'll see you in the next video where we do some more